often crops, um, actually I brought a spread of, of often crops and um, also that's mind the, the oak, that's not an often crop, it's an invasive species. Um, so an often crop is a plant species uh, or crop that is locally used by communities and subsistence farmers but um, no one else see, sees its economic value. So there's no investment um, in, um, in research or actually um, promoting those crops uh, for agricultural purposes. So, um, and interestingly in Nigeria, they, they eat a lot of these often crops. So here in South Africa, you know, we've got a few often crops um, but um, NEPAD, the new partnerships uh, for African, African development, <laughs> yes. Um, they, together with um, other partners like the AU, have created the African Often Crops um, Consortium. And that consortium um, has identified 101 um, often crops or plant species that need to be sequenced or, or just studied and understood. Um, and, and those 101 crops, are, um, some of them occur, most of them occur in Nigeria, but then we've also got overlaps um, between the countries. So that's where my networks are basically um, coming from. Four of these um, often crops that I have spread here, we share in common with um, Nigeria. So we've got some granadillas, um, parsimons, guavas, Avocado, and it's hard to believe that avocado is, is an often crop because it's so popular, but yes, it is. An invader is something that comes in and basically um, incorporates itself into the environment. And it can be so aggressive and actually outcompete um, the natural inhabitants of that, uh, of that place. So basically, what would happen is an invader, an invasive plant species, for example, will come in and uh, when I talk about aggression, I would mean maybe they, it uses resources like the, um, minerals and um, other water, yeah, water in the soil. It uses more, more water, which, and then because the, the often crop itself or the natural um, plant is not used to having enemies, it's got no natural enemies, and now this invader has come in and it's actually got no defense mechanisms. So it basically outcompetes that plant. Um, and plants, you know, plants don't really move. So basically it will just die off there. And then the, the, off, the often crop will go extinct, locally extinct, and the invasive uh, species will thrive. In terms of our joint research, um, it's the understanding the impact of the invasive species holistically. holistically that they're having on the often crops and how people perceive them. That's one level to understand how, how are they perceived and what is the impact on the people's livelihoods. Um, I know in Nigeria, uh, Cromolina is thought to be a, 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 a no, like a the soil, soil mm. fertilizer. So some people believe that uh, it makes the soil more fertile. So they will, they will, they will farm in an area and after five years leave it to, to recover and they allow this cromolina to grow and it actually enriches the soil, but only for itself. So once they start sowing their crop, so they will remove the weed mechanically and maybe burn, then sow their crop. And then two months later, their crop seedlings will come up and then maybe a week or two, cromolina comes up, everything is dead because it produces these chemicals in its roots mm. and it actually poisons the soil so that other plants don't grow and it makes it the soil only suitable for itself. itself. Mm. So n you will never have food because of this plant that came and you don't even know what it is. So that's where the threat is.